What's going on guys? So I wanted to do a video on SEC filings. This is going to be a introduction video, basically just showing you how to find the filings. We're not going to be digging into what each filing means, but it's important to know how to access the filings. And there's a couple of different ways. So let's dive in. For me, I would say the most uh, efficient way to find the filings is by going whoops, to the SEC website. If you type in sec.gov, it'll bring you to the home page. And now you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna go to filings. Under filings, you're gonna wanna go to company company filing search. And now you all you have to do is enter a ticker. Let's just use Apple, and you have access to all the filings. Now you might not know what this stuff means yet, but after the series you'll probably understand a lot more if not all of this stuff all right so that's one way to access them another way if you go to nasdaq.com <clears throat> you can type in any ticker you want then on this toolbar on the left if you scroll all the way down you will see sec filings you click on that and now you have access to the SEC filings via uh, the NASDAQ website. And you can look at, let's just look at the 10Q. And then bam, now you have all this information and you can read through it and do all your research. So SEC filings, uh, let me wait, let me go to the last way to check out SEC filings is this website called BAM SEC. Uh, this is not a free website. They have a free version. It's not as good as the pro version, but the pro version is, I, th I think it's like $320 a year. So if you're not going to be using it all that often, it may not be worth it. So let's type in our ticker. And here's why I like this website. Not only do you have like the price, market cap, all that stuff, uh, but the way the website is organized is really nice. They categorize all the different filings right here for you with the date. So if I want to, I don't know, maybe I want to see what was going on around September. I could click at quarter one and then I can find, oh, they had an 8K. Maybe that drove the price up or whatever it may be. Um, also, you can highlight in within these, right? If I find something interesting. Oh, okay, let's just say this is interesting. Uh, it's not, but I can save it. And now, if I read through all of their filings and I highlight all kinds of stuff, you know, let's just save some of this. And then I'll, I can go back. And after my research is done, I could go to my highlights and it'll all be there, right? It'll show me exactly what I highlighted it, where it was. So that's pretty useful. Also, you could search through the documents. Uh, and then if you need to, you could go straight to the Edgar website from here. Or you could go to these different links that are on this website too. Um, this website's really sweet. I definitely highly recommend it if you're going to be diving into the SEC filings all of the time. So, a couple things about the SEC filings. It doesn't matter what kind of investor trader you are, the SEC filings will be beneficial to you. There's tons of information inside of these that no one is accessing. Uh, very rarely do I see people dive into these and, you know, really read them. Maybe a 10K. I know, obviously, all, all big-time investors know about this, and they all read the 10Ks and all that stuff. But there's a lot of day traders, a lot of people that don't that are investing that don't really have any idea on how to research companies. They're not utilizing these filings, and these are jam-packed with information. Uh I want to go over maybe the 10K and the 10Q tomorrow in a video. Also, once we start diving in, if you want to trade penny stocks, these things will be your best friend. 
they will give you so much information on the companies uh, through the filings. Uh, let's look at, I'm going to do research on this company in a little bit. But yeah, there's all kinds of good information in these that no one is utilizing. And if you take the time to learn how to use these to your advantage, you will have a massive edge over the competition. And that's really what it's all about. So uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about these SEC filings, I will be doing a full series on these. So please stay tuned. Uh, you will learn so much and you'll have so much advantage if you take the time to learn these things and learn about the information that is enclosed inside of them. So please take the time to learn it and stay tuned for more videos on SEC filings. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully this video helped you guys if you didn't already know how to do this stuff. Uh, if you didn't know how to find the filings, now you know how and you can start digging through them on your own a little bit. And in the next couple of videos, we'll touch on some more difficult topics and what to really look for within these filings. So once again, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more information on SEC filings and investing and trading. Peace.